Midjourney just released a crazy new feature called Omni Reference, and take a look at these pictures. Isn't that wild? Sure, they had character reference before, but in this video, I'll show you exactly why this new feature is such a big deal. Like, that's insane. That looks exactly like me. Omni Reference is a new system that basically allows you to point to something and say, put this in my picture. Here beside the prompt box is a little icon where we can add images. You can then click and drag a file from your computer and drop it here, or you can you click here and find the file on your computer. Then you'll have a gallery of pictures that you've uploaded. You'll click, hold, and drag it into the prompt box. Over here on the right side is Omni Reference. That's essentially all you have to do, and now you get to prompt. So if we have that picture of me as an Omni Reference, and I type something like, what can I see myself as? I'm gonna try something simple, a rock star on stage at a music festival. I'll hit enter. Now, do I think this will work? Honestly, no, and I'll explain explain why. The main reason is prompting. I am not sure what the best prompting strategy is right now. There's also quite a bit of parameters you can use. Safe to say there needs to be a lot more testing. I'll have a deep dive video coming up in a day or two. Here are our results. I don't think that's me. That's a little better. Yeah, that's not bad. And hey, that's a pretty good cartoon version of me with, um, <laughs> maybe one too many arms. We can try this again, but let me introduce you to the biggest parameter that you're gonna need to control, and that is the Omni Reference weight. Actually, before we do that, you might notice here that there was an error loading the image. You see how it's not showing up here? That's been happening to me a lot. I don't really know why it's happening. I don't know if it's my fault. So you know what? I'm gonna click X on this image, and then I'm just going to re-add it. And that might work. Okay, now let's get to the parameter Omni Reference weight. You'll notice this little button right here. This is actually not a button. This is a slider. Click on it once and then we can adjust the Omni strength right here. The range is from 1 to 1000 with 100 being the default. I'll be honest, I don't think you should increase this very much. I found the sweet spot to be anywhere between like 50 and 130. Any more than that and weird things were just happening. Like don't go too high with Omni strength. Now, if you forget about that slider or you're using Discord, you can actually type the parameter in the prompt, dash dash OW. And then I'll show you what happens when we use a couple of these different weights. There's 50, 75, not that great. 100 again and this one right here isn't bad. I actually like this one too. There it is at 110 and there's 125. That's a pretty cool picture and this one again is not bad but I think I'm missing an arm. <laughs> you know what let me show you what it looks like when you raise that value a ton. We'll put it up to 1000. Right away you'll notice that the pictures themselves are like barely different. Yeah, they might look like me, but the actual picture, like what's going on in the scene, look at the difference between 125 and 1000. And I think that's because since it's focusing more on my reference image and I use just like a cutout picture of me, it's going to have a really boring background in those two images. So as you can see, the best practices of using this new feature are not quite clear yet. And hey, if you have no one else to talk to about this kind of stuff, consider joining my community on the school platform. It's great. Lots of fun, helpful people there. We're all going to figure this out together. Let me speed run through some of the things I've tried already. How about simple prompting? A pirate with an Omni reference. Again, it's not loading there. I don't know what the problem is, but look at the picture. Like, that's me, I think. Like, that, that's really good. And you'll see that I used an Omni weight of 50. I'm telling you, don't go too far above 100, and going below didn't seem to hurt the images very much. You know what, I say that, but at the same time, your success rate with this feature is going to be anywhere between like 25 and 45%. You're going to get a lot of duds, a lot of images that straight up don't look like the reference. I mean, they'll be close, but you'll know. And let me show you something really weird. Okay, take a look at this picture, and what do you see over here? This is my plant. How is that in the Omni reference? Like, this is the picture I used. Yes, this is a screenshot from one of my videos, but I removed the background in Photoshop. So this is just a transparent picture. How does it know that the plant was there? Is that in the metadata somehow? Like, what is going on? Do you know how confusing this is to me? Like, if there's nothing in the reference picture and the prompt is this man is a pirate, doubled up on the word pirate because I screwed up in the prompt a little, like, why is my plant in the background? Well, what? How did it do that? What is going on? Yes, I used a reference weight of 700, but what would that matter? The plant's not in the picture. Please enlighten me if you know what's going on. Like, it's got everything in the back. How does it do that? 
It doesn't make any sense. Anyways, I tried prompting for things like an oil painting of a race car driver, and in this case, I used Style Raw. I lowered the stylized value to 40, and I used my global personalization profile for this generation. I mean, it's kind of a nice picture, but do you see what I mean? That there's so much you can do with the prompt. So many parameters. This feature was just released last night. It's really hard to tell what the most effective prompting strategy is. Maybe you can let me know in the comments below. And if you want to help out this channel, I would love it if you left a like on this video. I think it'd be cool to share this with as many people as possible, and I need your help with that. Thanks. I tried something like a portrait of Batman, again with a couple of mood boards and profile codes. And like, sure, it's not a bad picture, I kinda like my mustache, but I'll just repeat myself, I don't know the best way to prompt for like, me as Batman. We have this one, and like, <laughs> I don't think that's me. <laughs> but again, how funny would it be? if Batman had a mustache like this. A 1990s anime DBZ warrior, bald man, with an image weight of 60. Normally, I don't think I translate very well into cartoon. I mean, I'm just a bald guy, but I think that did a pretty good job with my features. Like, I think that looks like me. These ones, <laughs> not so much. This, compared to this, no contest. I've mentioned it, but yes, prompting is quite raw with this feature. You're gonna have to get pretty specific, and I think it matters a lot whether you mention the subject first or the setting. A 1990s anime DBZ screenshot of a city and a warrior. Making sure that you mention the background is like a big deal. The bot isn't just gonna fill up a random scene for you. I tried a Picasso painting of a man referencing me and yeah I don't think I'm very good at prompting because this is what it came up with like that's a beautiful picture I'm not talking about me I'm saying the painting like that's pretty cool but of course like I just wanted me in a Picasso painting style I'm not quite sure how to do that yet I saved this picture because of how cool that shirt is like if I had that shirt I'd wear it all the time. That's, I like it a lot. And then we get to one of the most effective prompting strategies I've found so far. This involves seeing yourself wearing a different piece of clothing. So I have here a Vogue photo shoot of a man wearing a cyan colored suit. And look how it turned out. Like that's a really good representation of me. Like that's unreal. I found that you're definitely going to need to explore different aspect ratios. And I just wanted to say that I find this feature really inspiring. To see yourself in a different light, it actually does something to your mental state. Mainly, I just want a suit like this. <laughs> I want to wear that. I think this could really help with like personal visualization and taking steps forward into the future. I'm not sure they intended it to be that way, but that's what I've found so far. And one thing you might notice, one thing you'll want to try is using variations. Like I had this grid here and I thought some of them were kind of close, so I actually went back and forth between using very subtle and very strong. I figured we just wanted to give Midjourney one more chance at that particular picture. And then it will create a grid like this that is much, much closer. This is your subtle variation. And there's a strong variation from that same source. Telling you variation is a big deal. I tried getting myself to cosplay as a character. Someone left that in the YouTube comments of my last video, so I tried it out. And like, yeah, it didn't really work. Could be the prompt's fault. We're learning on the fly here, right? And of course, this new feature is not called character reference for a reason. It's omni-reference. You can reference any picture. I tried creating these cool sniper rifles. I was going to put them in scenes, but I ran into some errors. Straight up, Midjourney was just not running my prompts. So I'm sorry I don't have a lot of conclusions to make right now about how effective this is. Maybe we can try it really quickly. So we're going to put this picture up in the Omni reference. And then we'll say a cinematic still of an assassin holding a blue sniper rifle. I'll try to give Midjourney some nudge towards that picture. Maybe you don't even have to mention the color in the prompt. You probably don't. And then if I make this a wide ratio, I'm telling you that last night this was just straight up not running. Hey, okay, here we go. <laughs> First time for everything. We're going to see how well this worked. Before it loads, take a guess. Do you think it's going to have that sniper rifle? Do you think if you look close enough, you'll notice that it's not that sniper rifle? I think those are two distinct questions. Oof, we're already getting some good signs. Like, look at this. If this turns out the way I hope it will, we're going to have to definitely inspect a lot closer though. All right, I don't think one and two are going to work, but three is not bad. Maybe it's just the lighting that makes it look a little different. And four, like that's pretty good. Okay, there's our original. And then we have this. 
And like, yeah, it's pretty darn close. I want you to look at this part right here, this little slash on the backside. That's right there. That's kind of crazy. We have this silver knob on the top with a little gold in the middle. Silver knob with gold in the middle. Ooh, we have these little parts of the jagged design right there. And that seems to show up here. I mean, it isn't perfect though. Look at this part right here. I think that is slightly different, slightly different. But, you know, all things considered, that's pretty freaking good okay we're gonna try something else take a look at this i made this picture in photoshop because you can't use more than one omni reference right now if you're gonna try that you need to put the photos together so this is actually a transparent png holding these two pictures maybe that's the problem i've been running into maybe transparent isn't the right idea maybe you should just keep the backgrounds i don't know so then we're gonna say a cinematic still of an assassin holding a blue sniper rifle the assassin is wearing a gold mask we're gonna prompt for both of the things in our omni reference and according to the mid journey team this has a chance at working no right away this job has encountered an error the developers have been notified that was happening to me all of last night i don't know if it's my reference image i don't know if the transparency mess with this i don't know if it's just a new feature that's popular and the servers are breaking i don't know maybe that's a good time to end this video subscribe to the channel if you don't want to miss my upcoming deep dive until then i hope you're doing well take care and i'll see you next time Peace.